Do you have water constantly flowing to the drain from your water softener, iron filter, tannin filter, any water filtration equipment with a valve on it? In this video, I'm going to show you how to troubleshoot it, and I'm going to show you how to fix it starting right now. Hi, I'm Gary the Water Guy, and I simplify water filtration to help you conquer crappy water for your family. The simplest way to confirm that uh, the cause of the water flowing or trickling through your plumbing at the moment that it's your, your water filtration equipment is to bypass it. So you just go to the bypass, flip it on to bypass. Once it's bypassed, if this, the trickling or the flow goes away, that means it's definitely this piece of equipment that's uh, causing the problem. Okay, so with it being in regular service, now you need to check and see is, is it in a regeneration cycle? Because if it's in a regeneration cycle, that's 100% normal for it to be doing that. And uh, most electronic water softeners, they, they display the current time or they display a uh, flow rate or something like that, but they're not counting down. If it's counting down, that means it's in a regeneration cycle. You can fast forward by pushing the regen button to get to the end and then make sure that the, the water flowing has stopped. If, however, it is in the service cycle and, and you hear uh, water flowing, then uh, you know there's a problem inside the valve. If the water is flowing quickly, you can hear it because, uh, or you can actually feel it because the drain line that goes through here, you can grab it and you can feel the vibration as the water is uh, flowing through. But if it's, it's just trickling slowly, you may not be able to tell that it's actually coming from here. So the best way to confirm that is again, bypass it. Once it's bypassed, then what you can do is you can disconnect the drain line. Now, if your drain line flows up, then you're going to have to have a bucket or something nearby because there is going to be some water uh, coming down from it. So you just undo this E-clip in this uh, Clack WS1, remove it, and then catch any water that's here. Once you've removed it, again, making sure that the, the, the water softer or water filtration equipment is in service, then what you need to do is slowly open up the bypass. Okay, and if you see water flowing out through the, where the, the drain line is normally c connected, that tells you that there's an internal leak in the, the water filtration equipment, and that's what needs to ad be addressed next. So the problem is inside the valve. So either the motor is stuck and, uh, and it, it's stuck in one position, or the piston is stuck and it can't move uh, back and forth. If you suspect it's the motor, then what you can do is you can press the regen cycle, or the, sorry, the regen button to advance it to another cycle. If you hear the motor start up, then it's not the motor that's causing the problem, it's the piston and or the seal pack. If you have an older style mechanical type uh, water softener, like a Fleck 5600, like this one here, then you can check the cycles by just, so it's in service when you see this little window up here and you see the word service displayed in the window. So you can turn this, like this to put it through the cycles. Now, if it's if you, you check it and water's continuously flowing to drain and it's stuck up here, it won't move past there. You try to turn, it won't move. That means it's seized up inside and you need to replace the, uh, the seal pack and the piston. Now for a water boss or Aquamaster water softener, the next step would be to replace the drive end cap assembly. This unit here, it's the piston. So what's happened is the piston is probably stuck in there somewhere or there's a problem in the drive. For a clack water softener, same story, is uh, the seal pack needs to be replaced and the, the, the pistons. Now with the clack WS1 water softener, if it's a water softener, it'll have these two pistons. If it's a, a, a back washable filter, like a sediment filter or something like that, it'll just have this one. But once you open it up, you'll see better. It's just that if you're ordering replacement parts, you need to order them ahead of time to make sure you're all set. So again, if, you're, if it's a water softener, you've got two pistons. If it's a backwashable sediment filter or backwashable carbon filter, you just have the one. All right, so to replace the, um, the seal pack and the pistons in the Clack WS1, we'll remove the faceplate. And uh, so normally this would be in service. If it's not, you would put it in bypass like it is here now. Uh, once you've done that, um, you need to release the pressure inside so you can start a regeneration cycle by holding down the regen button for five seconds. That'll start a cycle. You hear the motor start up, that's uh, the cycle. And once it starts counting down, you know that it's uh, it started the cycle. So once it has started counting down, you'll, you'll hear like a whoosh of water and then it'll slow right down. Once it's slowed down, then you can disconnect the drain line. So again, if the drain line, your drain line goes up, there's gonna be water in that drain line. So make sure you've got a container ready so you can capture that water. So you just pull out the E-clip, disconnect the drain line and drain it down. You can set it aside. 
So there's a couple connections across the front. You just have to undo the electrical connection here. Also good idea to unplug it from the wall, just in case any water gets inside here. And then you just unthread the electrical line here. You can just tuck it in behind if you like, like that. And then you can undo this whole assembly at the front. It comes out as a unit. So there's these two clips here. You can just undo those. Pull it forward like that. As you can see, this whole unit comes out as a unit. You can just set that aside. Carefully, you don't want to step on it or something like that. And then what you need to do is you need to dis dis disassemble it inside. So the, the, the disassembly tool for the Clack WS1 is a good uh, tool to use for that. Put it in there, whoops, put it in there. To loosen it up. Now you can use a screwdriver in here, a flat bladed screwdriver and kind of walk it through. Um, it, it does work, it's very cumbersome. Like I say, this tool does make it a lot easier. So then you unscrew this assembly here and this is the, the drive assembly. So I would have a container underneath here to capture any water that flows out when you open this up. So this particular valve here is what I call Frankenstein. This has been built up from another number of leftover parts, etc. I typically use this for situations like this and also for trade shows and uh, etc. So then what you can do is you can just pull out the assembly. So that's what I was talking about earlier is uh, here's the piston and then here's the brine piston. So for a um, uh, iron sulfur filter that has a regeneration cycle to suck uh, where it um, uh, where it uh, sucks in the air as opposed to a water softener which sucks in the brine, um, they have this uh, little piston here. Okay, and then what you need to do, you need to remove the seal pack which is inside here. So you can grab that and pull it out. And as you can see, this is quite used. Um, it's quite uh, dirty. So you can clean this at this point, but if it's leaking past the seals, and that's what's happening, that's why water's running to drain, it's leaking past these seals inside here. So you're just gonna throw this away anyway. And then you would replace it with a new seal pack, which just slides right in, like so. And then you've got the new, so you can just unclip the piston, just clips right in. There's a little uh, groove in there where it clips in. Just unclip that. So then here's the new piston and the new brine piston. So you just clip clip the two together. It, it can only be clipped in one way. So you don't have to worry about uh, uh, putting it in the right way. And then you just clip it into the drive assembly. Like that, clip that in. And then you can use some plumber's clear silicone grease on the seal that's inside here. You don't use it on any of the seals inside the um, the, the uh, seal pack, but you can put a little bit on here on the O-ring that's on here. Spread that in. And you're just going to reassemble this. Now it needs to be tight, but you don't have to reef it on there really hard, but uh, so again, you can use the assembly tool to tighten it up. All right. And then, now just be careful of the, the power wire that's up here. Just make sure that it's clipped all the way in at the top here. Once you've done that, and the, two, the feet go on the bottom, oops, clips in on the bottom, both sides, bring that back and that'll snap into place. Make sure it's, it makes sure it does snap into place, that way you know that it's seated correctly. And uh, so then you can attach the power right there. And it'll go through the, the setup procedure. It takes a few seconds to go that and then It'll be done when it goes back to the uh, correct time and you don't hear the motor making noise anymore. And then you would reconnect the drain line. Make sure it's tight. Put it back into service. 
the trickling and the water flowing to the drain will be gone and you're done. For some more great uh, troubleshooting videos on your water filtration equipment, click up here and I'll see you there.